Hey, good morning, everybody. Sam Sam Cigar Man here. We'll do another quick coffee review for Coffee Shop of Whores. Uh, this company is based out of uh, my, uh, I need more coffee, Mont Verde, Florida. And uh, I'm a little behind. Normally I do one at a time, but I've been so busy traveling and working that uh, I've collected my bags here. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of the different coffees I've tried. I'll let you know if I liked them or not. So first up is going to be Shrieking Toad. This is a uh, Tanzanian Peabody. Shrieking Toad. Uh, these are all medium bodied coffees and you can find these on the website which I'll drop below uh, in the description box. So feel free to check it out. Shrieking Toad, not too bad. Medium roast coffee, not a huge deal. Uh, another one here is Spooky Empire. It's a dark roast coffee. A little bit bitter uh, when I tried it out, but overall, not too bad. You got the Tribal Scream, which is a roasted chestnut. You can actually pick up the hint of chestnut as you uh, get the aroma from the coffee, as well as a little bit while you're sipping on it. Not bad. Let's see here. The House of Tortured Souls. This is a raspberry hazelnut. And um, you actually get a little bit of the raspberry and hazelnut in the taste of the coffee as you are sipping on it. Great aroma. Witch's Brew. This is a Guatemalan Antigua medium roast coffee. Uh, this is pretty good. It's more of your ordinary uh, coffee taste that you would get uh, I would compare it to maybe um, a Folgers if you will uh, but not it's okay cream brulee buttons big top brew uh, this one actually stood out to me uh, you do get the cream brulee taste as you're sipping on the coffee as well as the aroma uh, not bad I, I'd recommend this one right here it's pretty good and uh, I absolutely love the artwork on these amazing judgment day now this one it really stood out to me uh the chocolate it's a chocolate mint and uh again the artwork is pretty phenomenal here and you when you smell the aroma you get that hint of chocolate and mint mixed together and it blends very well in the the coffee when it's brewed and it tastes really good uh, so far, out of all the ones that I've showed you, this is my number one right here that I would highly recommend for you guys to go pick up a bag and give it a try. Again, this company is based out of Mont Verde, Florida. You can check them out on the link down below in my description. And uh, that's all i got for today for coffee. Um, don't mind this shirt. This, <laughs> this uh, Actually, this coffee company is also based out of Florida, and uh, I absolutely love their coffee too. But a uh, little shot, or I'm sorry, coffee shop of horrors based on Mont Verde, Florida. Good coffee. If nothing else, I highly recommend that you reach out and give them a try. Uh, they got over 50 something different blends. I have, I think, 30 bags uh, that I picked up last time I was down in Florida to try out their coffee. And there's only been one so far that I really did not care for. All the other coffees, and I still got more to try, uh, have been pretty good. So if you're a coffee nut, check them out. And until next time, when I do my next coffee review, you guys have a good one, stay safe, and uh, have a good morning. Peace out.